All right, so the other day I posted a short of this trailer. Uh, this is the brand new, it's a 2023 Diamond C F Max 207. And uh, I figured I would just talk a couple minutes about why I bought it and all the specifics of it. So F Max 207, so it's got two 7,000 pound uh, Lippert axles under it. Uh, it has just plain uh, regular uh, electric brakes. I didn't go for any of the upgraded brake uh, systems or anything. 12,000 pound regular just manual jacks, uh, the increased weight and cost of the hydraulic system for the jacks was, I was trying to, I'm trying to stay under weights, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. Uh, front toolbox, uh, standard. I did get one underslung box for chains and binders and stuff like that. Uh, did have the, I do have the torsion tube or the sway bar underneath it. The biggest option is the 12,000 pound uh, warrior winch uh, with the keyless uh, control on it. 23 plus five with the max ramps. Um, and I figured I would talk a little bit about why I wanted a deck over. Um, if you followed my videos a lot, my machines that I buy keep getting bigger and bigger. And basically it was just time for a larger trailer to fit wider things on. Um, Mostly to uh, suit my uh, John Deere two-cylinder habit. Uh, a lot of those tractors are over 80 to 83 inches wide. Makes them really hard to put on the 18-foot um, the the PJ that I have. Um, I bought this trailer from Central Trailer Sales in East Bethel, Minnesota. If anybody is wondering, they were really nice to deal with. There's all their contact information. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way or anything like that. I don't do sponsorships. I'm just telling you where I bought it. Um, they were super responsive to any of my emails, questions, things along those lines. Ordered this trailer in, I think, early February, and it arrived in late March. Um, looked it over the other day when I picked it up. I was kind of in a hurry, and everything looks pretty good. Uh, I am extremely happy with the quality thus far. Uh, I've actually already hauled a load with it. On the way back, we had to stop and pick up some stuff that I bought at an auction. Um, I, you know, I, it's not even registered yet, but all I've got is a temporary tag. But I am uh, super happy with how it pulls. Um, I'm actually, I don't pull it with that truck. I pull it with, a, with the uh, 2018 F350. But to kind of get into some of the weight ratings for this trailer, the reason I went with the F-Max 207 as compared to the F-Max 208, it has the 8,000 pound uh, axles under it. So this trailer, the F-Max 207, has a gross vehicle weight rating normally of 15,500 pounds. However, this trailer has been derated to 14,000 pounds. That will match up with the tow vehicle, which is going to be a 2023 F-350 that has a gross vehicle weight rating of 12,000 pounds. So you add the 12,000 and the 14,000 and you're at the 26,000 pound limit for uh, towing. And I know this is going to create all kinds of comments in the comment section, but this is what I took away with it. I call, I actually, I didn't read online or anything else. I flat out called the South Dakota Highway Patrol and I talked to a very nice sergeant. We spent about 20 minutes on the phone. He was extremely helpful. I explained to him exactly what I do with this trailer and I explained to him everything about, we, we talked about uh, strapping loads down. We talked about uh, what would it would look like if we went through a scale, um, the whole nine yards. And I told him what states I would normally travel to, being Minnesota, Iowa, and maybe occasionally Nebraska, and then obviously in South Dakota. And basically, he indicated that if I rated this trailer at 14,000 pounds and I had a 12,000 pound rated truck and it is registered in my name, not a company name or anything else, then they will have absolutely zero problems with me going through a scale or anything else. Now, you can do what you want with that information in the comments. Um, you can say I'm wrong, say I'm right, whatever. Uh, if you want to comment on it, you certainly can, but that is the information that I am running with. So now why did I go for, uh, and this goes back into the weight thing. The reason I only went for a 23 deck instead of a 28 foot deck is I'm trying to stay under, um, 
6,000 pounds. This trailer should weigh in right at uh, 5,900 pounds, I believe, I hope. Um, it would, I would be exciting if, it, I would be super excited if it weighs, uh, less than, uh, 5,700 pounds. That would be really exciting. Um, but basically what that will mean is I can transfer, uh, to keep it within the load rating, I can transfer about 3,000, 3,500 pounds to the truck, depending on the truck weight. And basically that means that I can theoretically load, uh, about, 10 to 11,000 pounds on the trailer. Um, probably try to keep it around that 10,000 pounds on the trailer, uh, depending on weights and things along those lines. That puts it at a perfect size for, say, if I want to go buy an 830 or an 820 again, like I've had in the past, this is a John Deere 820, 830. Those weigh approximately, well, nine to 10,000 pounds in most cases, unless of course they are, they're weighted up and things along those lines. Um, so this was a very thoughtful purchase uh, in terms of uh, weight ratings and stuff like that. I mean, it was specifically designed for my use. Now, why did I go with a Diamond C when I have had such good luck with the PJ? Uh, so I bought a PJ, an 18-foot uh, deck PJ in 2015. I love the trailer. I've put probably in excess of 30,000 miles on it uh, behind that truck right there. And I just really love it. I looked at PJs quite a bit before I bit the bullet on this one. Uh, I also looked at a couple of more local manufacturers and I decided that I was just going to break the bank and uh, I was going to, because everybody says they're really nice, I'd looked at a couple and I will have to say I am thoroughly impressed thus far with this trailer uh, in terms of build quality. I mean, my PJ is a nice trailer, but it has a lot more of a lot more small flaws than this one right here. And based on the reviews that you can read on YouTube, um, I think that I would agree that this so far, aside from a couple of small issues um, that I would consider almost a non-issue, uh, I have no complaints about the build quality of this trailer. Um, everything looks really nice so far. Uh, toes great, hauls great, you know, no problems. Got lots of little features. Uh, this was the most important feature that I wanted, and this actually excluded several builders because they don't offer a package like this. They offer winch plates and things along those lines, but frankly, I didn't want to do it myself. Uh, I just don't have time. If you follow my channel very long, you know I have more projects than I ever will have time for, and so it was time for me just to invest in something that uh, I could just use. So it does have a wireless controller. It's 12,000 pounds. Um... I am really, really excited to have this because this will definitely help when I buy those non-running tractors, uh, such as the seven, uh, 730s. I went and looked at a 730 this morning at auction and it just sold way too high. So I was actually hoping to use this for the first time today and I did not get to. Um, it does have the synthetic rope on it. Um, I'll update you on that in the future to see how I like it. Uh, you know, other than that, um, I think this will really come in handy in the future uh, when I start shopping around for more tractors. Um, uh, overall, out the door, uh, now this doesn't not, does not include tax since it was in a different state. Um, overall, out the door, this trailer was right at $18,000. Um, and that would be uh, February of 2023 prices. So obviously, clearly a lot more expensive than they were three years ago when I originally started thinking about buying one. But, you know, things happen, life happens, and inflation's got us all. And so I went ahead and ponied up the bucks for it, and here it is, sitting in the driveway. Hopefully we'll get lots of good years of service, uh, and if I like it uh, enough, I will probably consider in the next year or so, uh, or two years, trading in the PJ on a new Diamond C uh, car hauler. Uh, maybe a little bit heavier duty than the current PJ. The current PJ, you can kind of see it out there next to the combine. Uh, it's got a rating of, I believe, 9,000 pounds, but it is only 82 inches wide. And I'd really like, uh, I'd like a little bit longer one. I'd probably like a 24-foot uh, equipment hauler. I think that would be much more ideal. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. Happy to answer them. Uh, I tried to provide as much useful information in this video, kind of why I bought what I did. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.